Hello and welcome. Now today what I'm going to do is the actual uh, sorting out the power side of things as in installing the power ramp and yes you will notice Wayne here also having some tea. Um. <laughs> He's uh, programming you know, the firmware for Sidbox and I will be sorting out the power side as I said. The first chance I got to show these gifts from PCBWay and yeah, I know I'm a little out of season, but I still found them cute and worthy of showing. I know what I'm putting up next Christmas on my workbench. <laughs> Thank you, PCB Way. And the fact that the house down the road still haven't taken their Christmas decorations down makes me feel a little better about <laughs> showing this out of season. <laughs> Merry soldering. <laughs> Wayne approves of Miss Mad Lemon Tea? Mm-hmm. <laughs> So first things first, I'm going to start with just installing the power input uh, socket here into the sitcom box. It's going to be a, it's going to be quite industrious. This there's <laughs> a lot of uh, drilling and stuff going on as well. So here is the actual where it was originally. I'm not going to move that. I'm just going to plug that in. But of course, I'm going to wire it first. Yeah. So that means this transformer is going to have to be mounted around here the here or something and then the the main things like the fuse box or well the fuse I mean this all this well, the fuse box is a fuse thing and also you know the power switch up here the main power switch as well as the indicator so all the main stuff will be contained inside this little the fact that it fits between my FS yeah it's just perfect <laughs> That feels, that feels more secure. Uh, I, feels way more secure than this. <laughs> Open this up, this is the mount of the, yeah. So you can see this. Mm-hmm. We don't need a junior hacksaw to ha hack off the rest of that. No, no, should be it, no, no, it's, it's just right for this. Mm -hmm. Junior hacksaw, that takes me back to school. I know. <laughs> junior hacksaw. Uh, I always used to want a coping saw. Coping saw. Yeah, oh, that yeah. small one with it. It was, a, it was a good. You could like shape stuff with it. Okay, so I drilled a hole here. Just drill it now. And let's fit the. Let's take the transformer mounting kit out. Let's take that. It's really beautiful, sunny. I love it. It's really hot. It's like 30 degrees Celsius. And I don't care. I'm not complaining. I love it. But it is hot, so I'm keeping cool. <laughs> I love summer. Wire is kind of. I wish this sort of came out of the side a bit rather than at the top. You cannot center it exactly, but it still will hold down. So where's that nut going? I need to put those uh, those standoffs there. The problem is this corner is slipping underneath the transformer. <laughs> He's enjoying tea. Okay, so on the primary side of things, what I'm going to do is use this as um, you know the original one from the boombox itself, and I will be connecting that to a fuse first, like this fuse. Oops, darn it! So I'll be installing that in on the back here. So all the main stuff, as I said, will be in there. So yeah, I'll just drill the holes here. So this is going to be number, 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 number 12, I will try and if that doesn't work I will do number 14, so number 12. This is solid, it's mounted solid, I can even lift it with this, it's so freaking solid. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so that's soldered. Let's put this in here. And we'll mount this properly on this fuse compartment. 
Right, so we have the, um, the fuse installed here. And what I'm going to do, let me just see fuse compartment here, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Well, at least the top part of it already. So you can just like change the fuse if you need be from the back. The power button here is going to be on the side here, which is going to be this thing. So I'm going to drill a hole here so that you can go in here. Feels like 14, but it's always good to try one size less, I guess. Can't go back if you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The, the mains the mains lamp here the neon lamp here so it's gonna be at the front the switch is gonna be at the side it's all looking fantastic so I just need to connect this and we have the power side of it then here and then we can move on to the rest of the, the stuff so it's just hitting three-way things <laughs> Center, ne center um, negative, which I hid, <laughs> and um, the outer is positive. That's on the DC jack here, which is next to the AC uh, in the figure eight in. The reason why I've done it center um, negative and outer positive is, well, the sleeve positive is because it's embossed at the back that it's that, and it's annoying, <laughs> you know. But I might as well just follow suit with what's embossed on the case, save confusion, and save me from having to, you know, redo freaking labels and stuff which to be honest will look scruffy. So now that I've uh, got this soldered on, I'm just gonna screw this um, connector in here permanently and then just, yeah, forget about it. <laughs> I'm done with it then. So I'm gonna continue with the rest of this. The uh, primary side and the main side of, of everything is done. I just need to do the secondary side of the power seems some of them are going to require some sort of trimming. So I'm just, well, just going to require some trim on this side. Which is not going to be easy. Just going to use a Dremel? Well, I really hope I don't have to do that for everyone. Uh, if I cannot do this then yeah, I'll, I'll have to Dremel them. Okay, so the wiring of all this begins wire this into the regulator board first. So let's just measure how much it's going to be roughly.
let's connect this under here. So the first one, make sure the right pairs. This one over here, slide down there. So this beautiful thing about this uh, regulator board is that it fits perfectly on the side. Like it's made for it, even though it wasn't technically. <laughs> but yeah, so we can just tuck that down there. We can stick these down here. Okay, so. so I've connected the um, the output of the transformer uh, through the rectifiers and into the regulator. All that part is installed. Uh, what I'm going to do now is just, uh, as you can see here, I've done a layout diagram of the switches at the back of the SID boombox. So I'm going to install the switches first, so that you know it's just easier. I don't have to keep like goofing around with installing switches. Okay, so the bottom two are going to be push button switches here because they go to relays. So let's install them first. Now all the switches are actually in there. There's that, except the DIN cable. I have a DIN socket. I haven't put that in just yet, but I will be doing a little later on. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to put this in because one of the switches is going to be the battery and the aux selector. So I just wanted to you know, select between this. So here's the the aux power in port, the DC in jack. Uh, what I need to, well, all I'm going to need to just do is just connect this power cable to the um, one of the terminals here on this red switch. It's this red switch that you know is the aux power, aux the battery power selector. Actually the same with the battery. There's a battery compartment here with there's too many wires <laughs> already. The battery compartment here with two of the um, uh, terminals coming out so that'll have to be on one other side. So this goes over here. Here is a little bit awkward, but I managed to find a way to mount it. This is the power, the automatic power switcher that I did. So I'm just going to mount it on the side here. I can't really find anywhere else good to mount it, to be honest. I think some of these sticky standoff pads are pretty strong. Once you stick them on, that's it. It's kind of this is some serious force. Not really going anywhere. Okay, before I this is the multiplier. Like you just put like one um, 12 volt and 115 volt in, and it gives you lots of outputs. Uh, so I'm not gonna stick that down just yet. I'm, I'd rather connect this. It's easier to kind of connect stuff to it, and then in the end. Okay, so that's the 15 volt output, which goes into the 15 volt section of this. Crit. And of course, 12 watt goes into the 12 watt section. Ground needs to go into ground, which is here. Let's connect the uh, the grounds from the regulator first. Hope this doesn't get too wiry and messy. Probably will, but. <laughs> I'll try and keep um, keep it as, as tidy as possible. Right, so means let's take what's coming out of here. Forty fifteen volts. Okay, okay. cool. I'm going to here. What? Seventy volts. Huh? I'm not supposed to be like fifteen and twelve. Are those parts adjustables? Yes, they are. Fuel output goes to the 15 input on the auto switcher board. Just 
this. Ooh. So, you can hear the relay. Oh, that's so good. I know. Oh, that is, that is it. It just does it, doesn't it? <laughs> so yeah, that's gonna switch. So this would be like allowing the battery car, a battery voltage to go into it now. But once you do this, it would switch automatically to the mains and disconnect ah. from the battery. So that's, it's disconnecting between the battery. Okay, so this is mains. So when you do that, it'll, now it's connected to the battery. It's kind of like that. That's good. Yeah, it's, it's a, a, a proper it's real click. It's a proper click, real click, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, I want to check if there's voltage going into all these. Should be. The right voltage going into all these. Mm. And then we're kind of done for the power side of it. And then the next, uh, since this is going to be a longer video already, the next part is going to be assembly of the rest of the. Okay, so let's measure this. That is giving out 12 volts. Fantastic. And this side should be giving out 15. Fantastic. Well, 14.74, but. Actually, we can sort of adjust that until it's 15. Oh, it's climbing up. So I think there's going to have to be a little bit of voltage adjustment as we go through. Oops, it's too much. So that's all for today. Uh, I will do the. I will continue with the other parts of the assembly in the next video. So thanks so much for your likes, your shares. Do leave your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to check out my other videos and do subscribe for more. I wish to say a big thank you to all my patrons, especially my top tier patrons. Electronscape, Axel Dominator, Rich Carboot, Aaron Metcalf, Camel Tag, and Chris Sabalinski. Being a solo self-made content creator, dwelling in YouTube's biased algorithm, without any advantages nor favors from bigger YouTubers, in this unnecessarily competitive environment is not easy. However, in this situation, you learn to truly appreciate the support you receive from patrons and viewers who go out their way to support. Please see the video description below to check out my patrons' websites and YouTube channels. <laughs>